Breaking news in college basketball, San Francisco's Todd Golden will be the next head coach of the Florida Gators. That's the latest from our Matt Norlander. Bill Golden's coming off a 24-10 season and an NCAA tournament appearance with the Dons, who were eliminated by Murray State on Thursday. The 36-year-old will take over in Gainesville for Mike White, who is now the head coach at Georgia. Let's take a look at Todd Golden's resume, a 57 and 36 record in three seasons with San Francisco. He is, of course, a former assistant at Auburn. And, of course, he led the Dons, as we just mentioned, to their first NCAA tournament appearance since 1998. And for more on this, let's now welcome in CBS Sports HQ college basketball analyst and Eye on College Basketball podcast host Matt Norlander. Matt, your reaction to this hiring, how do you rate the move here for the Gators? Well, it's an inspiring one, and yes, yeah, sources uh, told me that Golden is going to be on a six-year deal. Uh, he will move across the country here, and he ha- does have experience in the SEC. As you saw there, he was previously an assistant for two years at Auburn under Bruce Pearl. Golden has been a rising star the past few years. When you take a program like San Francisco to its first NCAA tournament in more than two decades, a school that almost never gets there, obviously you're going to catch the attention of plenty of people. I can report that both representatives from Florida and the search committee met with Golden on Wednesday in Indianapolis to interview him under consideration and then things move quickly thereafter. Um, He will be the next coach at Florida and I was also told by sources that Florida Athletic Director Scott Strickland didn't get caught up in this idea that because it's the Florida job, he had to absolutely make sure he went and hired a sitting head coach from a power conference. Remember, when Mike White was hired, he recently just took the Florida job a few days ago. Mike White was at Louisiana Tech. He was at another mid-major, but it wasn't this situation where, okay, we tried a young coach at a mid-major. That didn't work. Let's go with something different. Scott Strickland just wanted his guy. Remember, he hired Billy Napier just a few months ago to coach the football team. He came from Louisiana. He wa- I'm told he wanted to go young. He wanted to go smart. Todd Golden checks both those boxes a rising star in the industry and oh by the way florida season is not yet done it's still playing in the nit but golden will join the program and officially become its next head coach once uh, once the gators is nit is completed so in terms of what golden brings to this gators program matt what can you tell us about you know what he brings here Todd Golden is one of the most analytically savvy and smart young minds in all of men's college basketball. He he is a bit of an un, unconventional coach in how he approaches the game. Very, very numbers oriented, numbers focused, extremely ambitious, well respected within the industry, a former St. Mary's player. He's been in coaching for about a decade. He got his start as assistant at Columbia, was a previous assistant at San Francisco before getting that head job when Kyle Smith got the Washington State job. But yes, uh, very whip smart, savvy in terms of numbers and takes an analytic approach. Uh, It's a different hire from Mike White, certainly in that regard. And if you're a Florida fan, it's pretty inspiring because frankly, Todd Golden was courted by multiple power conferences conference coaches or power conference schools in recent days but Florida knew this had to be the guy it's the, it was the best job available to him and so now uh, I'm told the announcement will be made soon but um, it's done six years Todd Golden going to be the Florida next head coach Matt there are so many openings in college basketball right now how quickly do you expect things to start moving in terms of the hiring I think it can move pretty quickly, although as we look around, I, th- th- we could still get to next week and still have openings. Like, I don't expect Kansas State personally to close before Sunday at the earliest. Missouri is out there. Matt McMahon, who beat Golden on Thursday night in that epic overtime game in Indianapolis. Murray State is still playing. Uh, Matt McMahon's name has been connected to Missouri as a leading candidate there, so we'll wait and see on that. If Murray State were to continue playing and reach the Sweet 16, and Missouri does want Matt McMahon to be its next coach, then that job is not going to close until Murray State's NCAA tournament run uh, completes there. Mississippi State recently opened. You'll notice a lot of these jobs I'm mentioning, they're in the SEC. The SEC is undergoing more head coaching turnover in its league than it has had in a long time, if not ever. We've had six jobs change, and uh, it's been interesting to see just how volatile the change in that conference has been. It's been by far busier than anywhere else in any other conference across the country. The One of the reasons why stuff will flip pretty quickly is the portal wars. What you're getting here is athletic directors who want to have their next coach in place as quickly as possible to retain rosters, which has always been a deal, but there's there are more players in the transfer portal, and we've seen this in college football as well. There are more players in the transfer portal than ever before, and the idea is let's identify our coach, let's hire him, let's get him and his staff in place so that we can get into the portal and be as aggressive as possible. 
but also the players that are on this roster, you know, we want to retain as many as we possibly can there. So I don't think that a bunch of these openings are going to close by the end of the weekend. Yes, there is potential for more, but the Florida one was an intriguing one because it's only been open less than a week. Uh, Scott Strickland clearly identified that Todd Golden needed to be his guy, and uh, they got it done uh, this week in Indianapolis. And he'll soon be introduced officially once he can get back across the country and fly from San Francisco to Gainesville. Uh, he'll get back across the country and he'll be introduced in person in Gainesville as Florida's next head coach. One of the big jobs is off the board. Our CBS Sports HQ college basketball analyst Matt Norlander joining us to talk about the hiring of Todd Golden as the next coach at Florida. Thanks very much, Matt. And for more on this hiring and more on what's going on in the NCAA tournament, we are, of course, into day two of the round of 64. Be sure to check out the Eye on College Basketball podcast. Matt Norlander, Gary Parrish, two of the most astute minds in the college game, breaking everything down for you, every storyline, every game, and what it all means. The Eye on College Basketball podcast you can download and follow wherever you get your podcast audio. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.